with Dell, bitch. Extra honest, extra unbiased, but a little bit shady. <laughs> Go ahead, like and subscribe. Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Del, and you're here to be extra with Del. If you're new to my channel, I must let you know that I vlog about beauty pageants yearly and talk to you guys about my extra honest, extra unbiased opinions about the queens. And today, you guys, it's Saturday morning here in Los Angeles. I was just about to go work out, you guys, and I saw my feed, um, my Instagram feed, as well as my YouTube feed fill with all the closed door interview, you guys. And you guys know how important speaking is. So I had to immediately like do that before I go work out. You guys see how, see how much I love you guys. I put you guys first and I was like, oh, those bitches out there probably my extra honest, extra unbiased opinion. So here I am giving you guys my take on the, um, uh, the closed door interview. I made a top seven, um, queens that were really, really strong and that I think the seven queens that could potentially be in front of that finale stage and answering some really tough questions, you guys. So if you're ready, I'm absolutely ready. Let's go. Okay, first and foremost, you guys, why did the watch show up like that? He looked like a freaking homeless person. I was like, who the fuck is that? You guys, some of the girls who gifted, um, know why like something they should have gotten him a comb you guys and probably some like um um perhaps like um mouthwash also because he looks like his his breath smells you guys <laughs> he looks like he just woke up to be honest i can't oh my god another disgusting moment for miss grand thailand you guys first of all thailand started out like oh wow she sounds like she's She's humble, but then all of a sudden, all of a sudden she started talking about money. She's like, money is important. I love money, blah, 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 and stuff like that. It was just really disgusting to hear from her, you guys. I mean, no wonder she's very rude and arrogant because all she cares about is money. And you know what? Money may, you know, may fix your ugliness in the outside, but it can't fix your ugliness on the inside. So... You stick with your money, girl, and we know exactly what lies in your head now. You're just all about money. You're not a queen. Goodbye, girl. Too, because I love money. It's the same. And then lastly, you guys, I found Miss Grand France a little bit rude to Miss Dominican, Miss Grand Dominican Republic. After Miss Grand Dominican Republic, you know, did her little fabulous speech about, um, you know, about herself and stuff like that. And when she passed the mic to, um to Franz, Franz got all shady with her. I didn't know how to talk a lot. <laughs> well, let's not go there, Franz, okay? She can speak as long as she wants to, honey buns. Also, Franz was so all over the place and she was trying to be funny and stuff, but it just looked like she was deranged. Uh, what the hell's wrong with her? Don't, don't be rude to Dominican Republic. That's our girl, okay? For my number seven, it's gonna be Miss Grand Malaysia. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think with Malaysia, she work as looks a amazing. Look at her. Model. Let's listen up first. Business called Passion Works, where my passion truly works. I also own a foundation called You Are Not Alone Southeast Asia Mental Health Initiative, which I started back in 2019 with the core of uh, decriminalizing suicide in Malaysia. And I'm proudly here, uh, here at a Miss Grand International, as I am ready to work. I think that I, I have different skill sets. Fun fact about me, I can speak in different languages, four different languages, Bahasa, English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Oh, half okay. Chinese, half Indian. Oh my God, just half Indian. So anytime you need me to run, you need me to go anywhere, I can go for sure. Oh, she can run in heels? Uh-uh. <laughs> Thank you. I work and study for a long time. I can too. And I started my first job as a sales promoter. So I have the experience in events, running events, and I do a lot of emceeing jobs as well in pageantry. So I do know beauty pageants pretty well. And in terms of what my contribution can be, apart from my hosting skills, Papa Nawad, you can be, I will offer myself for you forever. I can't every with her. Single Miss Grand International shows. You can see me. <laughs> yes, I can host every single show. Oh, and you can girl. record, no problem. 
And apart from that, I also, <laughs> I'm a serious guy. Okay, chai ka. Chai. Okay. <laughs> and apart from that, I also uh, have a new management, uh, Sunstrong Entertainment, where they are based in China. In Papa Nawat, I know that you have a O-Daisy group that possibly you can also venture into the China market. And I'm here to offer you, I'm here to offer you uh, maybe a concert for Ingfa in China. I a concert with her. for O-Daisy. And also we would like to welcome you to Malaysia as a host country, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think Malaysia is absolutely looking like a queen. I love what she's wearing. That lavender color it looks absolutely stunning on her. It softens her. It makes her very, like for some reason, she's very light to look at in this outfit. I love the chignon, that bun, that, that hair. You guys, she looks like a queen. And she is an incredible speaker. Obviously, this girl has, you know, uh, she knows the, la the English language, so that's good. And she knows four other languages. So the girl is absolutely an incredible speaker. And not only, not just about the verbiage in itself, it's how comfortable she is in front of, you know, like your big boss, Nawad, and then in front of Luciana and the, uh, Miss uh, Teresa. Um, so I think Malaysia has a spark that is kind of rare. I really, you know, don't see many Asian girls that have like this kind of sparks, you know, kind of like Catriona Gray, that cuteness, you know? So she's a great speaker and an absolute queen, you guys. I see her in front of uh, thousands of people and not cracking under pressure. And for my number six, it's going to be Miss Grand US Virgin Islands, you guys. She looked really good in this outfit, you guys. I thought, <laughs> is she wearing like a Phil? is it not from the Philippines? She brought her own product. I cannot, this girl is, she's like free marketing, yes, yes, yes. Very smart. So that is my new product that I'm launching here at Miss Grand International. You guys are the first ones, you guys and- Hey, I want one too, girl, send me some. Cause I got dry I lips, saw okay? <laughs> I saw you the other day walking around with your baby lips chapstick and I said, I have to read this. I <laughs> She's have shady. To. Um, it says it right on the bottom. Okay, no what looks like a mess, you guys. It's glamorous, it's glam by Sam Cosmetics. Um, some more about me is that I have a bachelor's of science in biology with a focus in pre-medicine. My hope is to become a reconstructive plastic surgeon to help anybody who has been born with or suffered any type of accident that is caused beautiful speaker what an incredible speaker cleft palates burn victims or something that recently became really important to me is breast cancer survivors and that's due to my mother's recent diagnosis I have a lot on my resume and that is because personally i'm a perfectionist and for me it's because i know what it means to have a business i know what it means to pour your everything into something i know what it means to network i know all of these things and so because of that i want everything to be absolutely that is exactly my strength and my weakness. It's my Amazing. This girl is incredible products like this. An incredible love. speaker. The joy that they have from it. I get to I have a talk show where I talk Oh, well, she has a talk show. Of self -love. I have incredible individuals who are successful come on and they share their own personal journey towards self love. That's another thing that I get to do. And for me, it's I want to be perfect at it, but you can't always be perfect. Sometimes right. you have to learn to say I gotta walk away from it. Sometimes you have to learn to say, okay, maybe tomorrow I'll be better at it. Maybe tomorrow when my head's clear, when my heart's a little bit happier, I'll be better at this. So it is a strength, it is a weakness. I know it's something that all of us can relate to is that you want things to be perfect, but sometimes you have to say, you know what? I did my best. I did what I feel is perfect and that's okay. Oh, uh, well girl, you don't know how Asian people are. If it's not perfect, you are disowned, honey. <laughs> all right, so Miss U.S. Virgin Islands, Miss Grand U.S. Virgin Islands, absolutely a vision to look at in this a jumpsuit you guys with that green wrapped around here and that dramatic uh it seems like that a Fili that's like a um a filipino like filipiniana sleeve or something um so she looks absolutely stunning i would have fixed her hair a little bit more but you guys this girl is a talking machine and the thing about her about miss um u.s virgin island is that she's not just speaking about herself She's telling a story about who she is, 
and what she's done. And to me, that's why she connected with me. I was like, oh, I'm engaged when she's speaking, that body language wise. And ultimately, she's an incredible storyteller. So therefore, I was like, oh, I see this girl on the finale absolutely murdering that, you know, section, um, uh, question and answer um, at the uh, final competition. She was amazing you guys i was not surprised because i expected probably from her but how confident she was and just the it's more of like it's the way she communicated that storytelling kind of style really worked for her you guys loved it for my number five it's going to be miss grand philippines okay you guys, she looks amazing woman. in this I wear different hats. I am a baby model, blue, host, high pony, coach, that I touch of earring, sweetheart neckline, so gorgeous, advocate. you guys. And so Her I makeup am a is perfection. Um, advocate particularly for my fellow breadwinners because I want to share their stories and my stories. And I believe that would allow me to inspire more people, young women as well, and others who are listening to me to know that there is a power within you that you can use to be an inspiration and to be an instrument for others as well and times you may not feel that you are not your in your own inspiration but you can be an inspiration to others so you should take that chance within you and so i would also say that this is like a Beautiful. second chance for me to join miss grand international because back in oh, 2022 i joined a national pageant in the philippines and i was aiming for miss grand international but i am glad that my sister roberta was the one who won the crown oh. during that time and represented she's much better than that girl and so i took the chance when um i was able to we were able to have another separate pageant for miss grand and in, miss grand international in the philippines and so i said this is my chance maybe and so i tried Yay. even though Aww. i know that i would be given just three days to prepare and be three here days to deep prepare. in my heart that Aww. i was preparing for the competition for how many years already because i've always wanted to perform to perform also i'm a graduate of business administration major in human resource development Girl. management however i wasn't able to pursue the path of corporate jobs because I wanted to, I needed to fill in the responsibility of being the breadwinner and I oh. think so. What, what do you feeling? You are cooking too. I yeah, they're talking about you the cooking, cooking show comment, you They call me, me cooking show. No. How you know what how, looks a mess. How you feeling and what you want to say? Well, again, I would say to all the Filipino fans, Cooking mm -hmm. in Thailand. Listen up, Filipino Their fans. Oh, wow. Is what I am looking for. <laughs> mm -mm. And I love their dishes. That I I hope we just you know um, focus more on the definition of what is cooking because we are mm -hmm. just cooking the most perfect girl here for the for the grand. Oh, what a great answer, you guys. All right, so uh, mm -hmm. listen up to those toxic Filipino pageant fans. Even Atisa Manalo was embarrassed by some of you guys who are just going around every in the, every person's page calling the show like it's rigged, which sometimes can be rigged, actually. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, you guys. I mean, if it's justified, sure. Like Michelle D last year, that was justified. Uh -huh. um, but if, like, your queen is, like, mediocre and doesn't make it, it's not a cookie show. Maybe perhaps that, that queen in itself is not... You know, a, a winning a queen. So chill out because now Nawat is like, she, Nawat pays attention to everything, you guys. So this bitch is so involved. He doesn't even have time to fix himself. Anyway, you guys, Miss Grand Philippines, what an incredible speaker. Another talking machine. She just wouldn't shut up. I'm like, girl, calm down. Take a breather. But this is how you know that how prepared she is, you guys. This girl... As she mentioned that she's been preparing for this for a very long time and three days two days it don't matter girl because she has been prepared for this for quite some time because there's some queens that are just or person individuals that are just meant to do these things you know so she's very 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 queenly and i am loving loving her communication skills and and the thing is like you want to hear more from her there's something about her that you want to listen to her even the other queens next to her were just engaged to when you know because she was just so incredible when she was speaking so amazing i would love to see her in the final six on the finale you guys 
For my number four, it's gonna be the one and only Miss Gran Peru Arlette. All right, you guys, so this queen with her afro looking gorgeous. Okay, maybe this is her hair. I thought it was a wig, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Peru. I'm a businesswoman now because I'm the owner of my own model school. Also, I work as a model, actress, and dancer on a TV show in Peru. She's so stunning, you guys. And that face. Beautiful. As a hard -working woman. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I'm a passionate about dance. And this is my dream since I was 19 years old. I have been dreaming with that time to stay in front of all of you since I was 19 years old for six wow. years ago. So now I'm trying to do my best from the bottom of my heart. And that's it. Very, no, very, it. very cute, you guys. <laughs> from the morning, I know it. Of course, I have the pressure of the back-to-back. -back this is the back-to-back -back question, guys. not just so iconic in Peru. She's iconic in the whole world. So if I have mm, the pressure, okay but now. The pressure is not falling me down. The pressure is making me feel more motivated to be better every day, day a day. Day by day, I feel better, like trying to be, trying to, to look better, trying to, to give all myself. So this pressure is not going me down, it's motivating me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. She's so beautiful, you guys. Okay, so obviously she is not fluent in English, uh, but you know what? There's, I mean, look, Vietnam last year made it to top seven, top six or top seven, and she couldn't speak a lick of English, okay? So if Vietnam can make it to, you know, the final six, uh, then Peru can, okay? What I love about Peru is communication skills beyond just, you know, the verbiage. It's also how you communicate just like your body language how inviting are you with peru she's absolutely somebody who yes she's str maybe struggling a little bit and she's probably limited in the english vocabulary but the most important thing in life in general especially in pageants i guess is you have to try and give it your all and she did that she stood she sat there in front of the what um teresa as well as luciana fuster and she felt comfortable enough to go for it not needing to oh my god let me get a translator you know what i mean she did it without any embarrassment just so confident and sometimes confidence is key but i mean like if she speaks you know like i mean luciana fuster when she competed she didn't speak english like so well to the point where like oh wow like i thought she was not like you know latina i thought she was from america you don't have to sound american or have the vocabulary of somebody from you know america or english speaking country to me knowing like you know like enough english is sufficient but as long as you like communicate it in a way that like you know that i like her i like the to me when i was watching her like i still understood what she was saying and then to me the very fact that she looks up she looks down and she's like uh blah blah you know like she's making a conversation i really really love that about her so look peru you look fabulous in that afro and your communication skills i think is excellent that reina hispano-americana um, experience has helped you absolutely and then just keep speaking english sharpening it until the finale so you can get better and prepare some answers i guess as well so don't memorize it, but just prepare answers, Peru. Okay, that's my advice to you. For my number three, it's going to be Miss Gran Curacao. All right, you guys, Akisha is absolutely not failing me every time I see her. And look at her, she looks. Excuse me. I can't. Don't be lying with your age now, girl. Oh. Wow, years she's 29 young, now and she's looking gorgeous still. Yes, 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 yes. Where, um, I'm proud to represent such a small island but with big heart. Um, in my day-to-day -day life, I am an educator. I teach people. I am a teacher in my day-to-day -day life also. I work at TV as a TV host. I oh, enjoy great. working at the TV because I get a chance to be myself, do mistakes in front of camera, um, reading the news, um, I'm having interviews with people, so I've learned She's so much working Gorgeous, you guys. And besides that, I am an influencer, full-time influencer, that I work with different brands in Curacao, trusted brands that trust me with their brands to promote it for okay. more than five years now. And I enjoy being an influencer because it helped me understand the 
impact you can have as an influencer. If you tell somebody, hey, this juice is good, they will buy it from you <laughs> because they heard it from you. So hey, drink this influence poison. Is trust okay. work and I have been doing it for five years and I enjoy it. Also, I have my own business, which is called oh. MBA Empowerment. Luciana had a chance to um, meet all the girls in Curacao, which makes me really proud because it's an empowerment school where we educate, encourage, and empower young girls and women of all ages to stand in front of their fears. And I enjoy the work so much. And on top of it, I enjoy being an entrepreneur. I need to grab wow. the crown and take it away. But I told them it is a work. I have to do mm. the work. I have to work. I have to compete. And coming from different pageants, the background I have learned to compete in beauty pageants is not about compete and fight for just a spot. It's letting know that your word is here, that you are here present. And I feel the pressure, but I feel blessed to have people believing in me because I could be standing here and not having anyone trusting mm -hmm. in me or supporting me, but they Aww. trust me. And sometimes they call me a lucky charm, but I think it's not luck. I think it's hard work. It's that hard work. Sitting here. It's dedication, it's sacrifices, it's years, years, years of hard work. And I'm here just celebrating the woman I am today. All right, you guys. So what we just saw there is a queen who thought she was already done with pageantry, but she hasn't because she still got it. All I could think of is that one time when she was at Miss Universe 2018, you guys. Oh, my God. That was like, what, five years ago? Oh, my God. I remember when she had that speech. Remember, you guys, when they had that speech, um, they were like in a V um, position. And during her speech, she was just so fabulous. And her speech was so incredible which led her to get to the top 10. Um, so you guys, so this girl, she's back and she is back to show people that she deserves some sort of crown and I love her and she's 29 years young honey and looking gorgeous, okay? And to me that communication skill she has is, okay, like you know, like she has an excellent verbiage usage, right? So and then she, I could say that she is fluent in English. Yes, she sounds like she's pretty fluent in English. Uh, I do love her touch of like, kind of like accent, like her um, Islander accent that makes it even more charming. So that she speaks like a queen, obviously, but she also has a lot of like charm about the way she speaks and it's almost kind of romantic in a way. So I love her. I think she's very empowering and I think that she is a queen that has been proving throughout this whole entire um, competition that she's she's worth that crown, you guys. And this just shows that she's not just even she's now even better than 2018. That she's composed and she can like not she's not gonna crack under pressure and she is absolutely showing that. Curacao, you are in the running to be that uh, to get that crown because you amazing. And for my number two, it's going to be the, Repu the Dominican Republic, Republica Dominicana. All right, you guys, let's listen up to our queen, um, Maria Felix. My community, how to dance, because I'm also a professional dancer. Dance Gorgeous. And contemporary. Um, so I opened this academy in New York City because I'm oh, she's from New York. For those young girls who are immigrants as me, that they don't have the economic status. Um, to pay classes because New York is a city. It is expensive. Country. So I take this opportunity when I started pageantry. And also, um, <laughs> Gorgeous. I, besides doing the academy, i very into the finance uh -oh, world. Finance. Uh, I choose this major because I think as a major that it's very, you can get you can get a lot of money okay. for that. And also for, they look for a queen who is uh, a woman with fierceness, a woman ready to work, a woman who is talented as well, a performance in every aspect of the world. And this is me, a woman ready to work. I have risk, a lot of things to come here because this is a dream. And life is not about risk, risking everything because who doesn't risk? Why should be um, in this? Why should, why should both dreams is about risking everything, depending in all aspects. You have to be ready. If you can do your makeup by your own, you can do your hair by your own. You can do even swing your dress if your dress is broken. Uh -huh. You can be you have, a queen. It represents all of that. Being independent, being a woman. If you send it even to the closest um, country in the world or the nearest, she can do anything. She can handle herself. She doesn't need a, a team of a hundred people to do everything for her. You can do everything because we're women. We're ready. We 
We are women ready to work, ready to give it all. I'll say. You guys, I mean, if that was not a freaking arena, a queen, I don't know what is. That girl sat there absolutely looking like a queen, you guys. The way she crossed her leg, the way she was holding the mic, the way she looked, I mean, the way she was communicating, like that, the body languages, you guys, that to me is a mark of a queen, you guys. And I mean, to me, it's like, I can kind of see her also as Miss Universe, honestly. So like, you know, to me, just kind of like, you know, watching pageantry and gagging over all the winners of the pageant um, previously, they all have this sort of charisma and this kind of aura about them that's just like, you don't know what it is. You just know that you're looking at them. It's like, yo, she's a queen. And that's what she gives me. And the way, I didn't even know she spoke English this well, you guys. Well, she does live in New York. So there's a lot of Dominicans in New York. So a lot of, Im like a lot uh, um, immigrate to, um, um, to New York and Little Dominican Republic. So, which I was actually at the Little Dominican Republic in April <laughs> during my birthday. I stay there at a hotel. Um, so yes, so I think that she is an absolute gorgeous queen. The speaking ability, she's super likable, you guys. I mean, I'm just, the most important thing also as I was watching here is like, I didn't want to skip her. All I wanted to do was like, listen to her more and more and more and more and more and whatever was coming out of her mouth, I was really interested in. And um, she was, she's a professional ballet dancer, you guys. I didn't know that. I was like, no wonder this girl is so good with her freaking like pasarela. That's why she's one of the best in swimsuit, hey. Um, so, but the speaking skills, it's just amazing, you guys. This girl has exceeded my, at all the expectations that I had for her. I did not know that this girl can speak like this, you guys. I'm like obsessed with her. She's absolutely gorgeous. And the, that speaking scale is very queenly and again, very likable and very sellable. She can go around every, around the world and people will absolutely gravitate towards Miss, um, Miss Grand Dominican Republic, Maria Felix. And for my number one, namaste, it's going to be Rachel Gupta of Miss Grand India. You guys, she is looking gorgeous I, here, Gupta, like Grand so India. fresh and just... I so captivating. An actress in my country. I am a fashion model and I am an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. Me, I have grown up in a family of all doctors and businessmen. That's and spelling bee champion. That's what I learned about and that's what I always plan to do with my life. Joining the entertainment industry a few years ago just came out of nowhere. <laughs> but it was always a dream of mine, but to enter this industry is really, really challenging. Starting from scratch is very, very difficult. And I traveled to Mumbai, the city of dreams, all by myself. I want to go to Mumbai. And I had nothing except a vision and a dream. And from there, I worked really, really hard. I had to take so many rejections. I had to learn how to travel on my own, how to manage myself, how to advocate for myself, how to work in a large team of people mm, because perfect. you're not the only one working, you're bringing visions of so many people Perfect answer. Life. And learning all of this takes time. It, you need experience and you need practice. I think growing into this role and learning how this industry works, learning how to excel and how to show who I am to every single person I meet, that was a huge challenge, but I wouldn't say I fully conquered it. You're learning every single day. Beautiful. You're always learning how to be better. Um, but just entering this space was a big challenge and I'm really grateful that I could overcome most of it. And I'm really happy to be here. MGI in India, um, I created a product with MGI branding. So smart. Demonstrate this. Uh, we eat Mamuang Kwan in Thailand. And I want one. In Send India, me some, so Rachel. Um, popper, so I made um popper nawat, like Papa nawat. Poppers. And uh uh. <laughs> Did you say poppers, you guys? Of interest, but we've been giving it as Some of you guys want that. I know that for sure. The potential that India holds. Our cultures are so similar, and all of the MGI products can be sold to a huge audience over there. And I think that this, it shows a wonderful opportunity for growth for the brand and for myself. Wow, look at her being so proactive, creating a project 
then she knows that she's going to be able to show off when she gets to the interview amazing so this girl starting off with the way she looks i still wish she had something more indian but apparently some of you bitches said that her stuff is still in cambodia i think you guys are lying because if that's the case then her free the organization needs to go there send somebody there and take that shit and bring it to um or send her something else if it's still in cambodia then send her something more indian stuff hello it's a large country like you can anyway let's focus on the interview because Rachel Gupta, I knew that she, when she gets that mic, she will eat it and spit it out for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. She was going to um, get that mic. When she gets that mic, she, I knew that she was going to spit some amazing, amazing knowledge about her, um, you know, her experience and just, just, I don't know. Like I really, to me, it's just, just somebody that I want to hear some like similar to like Dominican Republic. I just want to look at her, um, idolize her and just listen to what she has to say. Um, she comes off very authentic um, and she doesn't just do that by like, you know, telling her stories and having to, you know, break barriers from, you know, like um, stepping outside that stereotypical like Indian goals in life. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I can understand that it's like similar to like with all Asian culture It's like they want you to be this they want you to be that but when you step outside that it can be very difficult di Difficult because you are really starting from scratch and that's to me That's very inspiring to young girls who are watching Miss Grand International So to me she's inspiring and the way she communicated the way she would pause and take a breather and then speak again amazing amazing speaker Rachel Gupta, I totally have faith in you now and I want to see you on the finale as one of the top six to be answering those question, questions and absolutely murdering that question and answer, okay? Good luck, queen. Send her stuff, India, immediately. And that's about it, you guys. Um, what did you guys think of the closed door interview? What did you guys think of my list? Um, there were some other queens that I really liked too. I like Venezuela. I thought she was very, very personable, um, but she doesn't come off as a queen to me. And this is still a beauty pageant, you guys. It's not just about likability, you know what I mean? Like she's very likable and I love her, but she's just not coming off as a queen. Um, I also love, um, I, I love Miss Grand Colombia. She was struggling with her English. But at the same time, I kind of really, like, I found her enjoyable and I found her to be somebody who was like, even though like she was struggling with the, the, the English language, she was still very, very effective speaker. I Like to me, I still wanted to hear what she has to say. And then I also loved um, Bolivia. Bolivia was actually really good too. And she was one of the queen that I was like, oh, wow, she she's, she's quite like, um, she surprised me a little bit. And then I also loved um, United Kingdom was kind of funny, but she didn't give enough substance. And then also um, uh, Miss USA was very close to my top seven, but um, but I just feel like Miss USA sounds way too corporate and not like queenly, you know what I mean? Because this is still a beauty pageant, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, so I thought those girls could have made it also. But um, hey, whatever, you know, maybe they'll still make it. Who knows, you know, but so far, I think India, India is probably going to be like leaving all the comments. They've been waiting for this moment. India's like, oh my God, when are they going to speak? Because this is when our girl Rachel Gupta is absolutely going to take over. Girl, I could, Spain was not even the picture, you know, but hey, the very fact though that Spain has a lot of connection, that scares me. I feel like Nawaz's like, uh oh, we need to like, crown her because she's got like you know hollywood connection i hope that's not the case because i will literally comb his hair <laughs> um so um yeah you guys so i thought india dominican republic curacao peru philippines u.s virgin islands and malaysia were incredibly strong and they gave you a queen vibe but at the same time they were also an effective communicator so kudos to those queens and kudos to um, those, the, those countries that sent a, a queen that has an incredible ability to communicate their thoughts and their plans and their vision. So I love that, you guys. So anyway, you guys, I got to go now because I, I need to, um, uh, yeah, I need to go run and then hit up the gym. So 
Um, anyway, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I know that the national costume is coming up soon, so we'll get, oh God, you guys, there's so much to like react to and just gag over. I'm so excited. So that's why I got to get in my run, you guys. I need to. We need to stay fit, you guys. Mexico is next month. So anyway, you guys, that's about it. Um, hope you guys had an incredible weekend or have an incredible Sunday. And I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Take care. Take care. Um, stay beautiful and stay extra. Bye, guys. Mwah.